Here we are, folks. There's Claire Henley. Hurrah! Hello. We're going to um, we're going to do a little podcast, an impromptu one. I've just arrived at Claire's to pick up some paintings. I thought we'll do a little podcast. So what I'd like to know about instantly is how how come we met and what is your connection to Port Scatha? So how do you? Link well, I love Cornwall. We've always had family holidays in Cornwall since I was very little and it took the whole day to drive down there. Um, and what I started, uh, my, re- my career started in a very strange way in that I did a graphic design degree right. uh, because for the simple reason I wanted to do art but I thought graphic design sounded as though it might have some earning potential right. rather than fine art which I thought well, I just I didn't know really what I was doing, but fortunately I found a course which was very, very general, and so you still got to do painting and illustration, sculpture, photography, all sorts of things. And uh, I graduated from there, and my first job was an illustrative one, illustrating the oven gloves in the shape of fish and animals. <laughs> do you remember them? Yes. <laughs> Every home had one. Every home had one in the 80s. Um, so I was there for four years and left there to become freelance right. and I started being an illustrator, yeah. having thought I was a graphic designer, but there I was, I ended up being an illustrator and I started working on children's books more or less straight away. Okay. There's a whole drawer full down there, <coughs> uh, I think I've done over a hundred in all, and illustrating for cards as well. So um, I suppose it was quite a graphic design type of thing to do, but I've been freelance ever since 1985, perhaps. Um, no, sorry, 1988. So it's been all the time I've had clients, and all the time I've yearned to not have clients anymore. All the time in the back of my head, I thought I want to paint big paintings. Right. But the opportunity didn't come until three years ago now. It was a struggle to begin with because, you know, I'd been used to tiny, tiny, tiny things right. like that. Yeah. And suddenly I was having to fill a big canvas. So right. I bought some decorators brushes and I bought some acrylic mediums to, to sort of splash on and get some texture going. And I've just I just love painting the sea. What was the draw to Port Scathel with that area? Um I love the Roseland Peninsula. Okay. Yes, Rose I Land. love it. Um you know St Moors and uh, <coughs> in fact we I've generally been on the other side uh, over in Falmouth yeah. like, catching the ferry across yeah. to St Moors and right. and or the King Harry ferry, you yeah. know. Um, and as to how we found each other. It was good old Facebook. Facebook, yes. <laughs> good old Facebook, which I have found a revelation. You know, I. Do you know it's a really funny thing with Facebook because um, I have found not only other artists and this, that, and the other, yeah. but also interesting discussions. Yes. How you you how you were just saying you interact with other you do, artists you do. on there, to you discussing do. things. Well, I've made some good friends, you know, who I've now met in the flesh as right. well, and I find them really warm-hearted and very amusing. A lot yeah. of, I don't know whether artists are generally amusing, but mm. the lot that I seem to have stumbled across crack me up. Yeah. And, um, and actually we have a secret page, which is not so secret, but it's called... It's not going to be any more no. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> have a look at it, folks. It's called Archive Tuesday. Right. And every Tuesday, a small group of us post something shameful from our past. Uh. Our art past, our art past. And there are some vile things that end up on oh, Archive dear. Tuesday. Brilliant. Awful examples of life drawing, embarrassing illustrations, <laughs> terrible things. And um, Archive Tuesday is a day of hilarity, generally, um, <laughs> as everyone takes the mickey out of each other's <laughs> work. And I managed to sell stuff from Facebook as well, which, yeah. <clears throat> which amazes me because I, I am surprised that people don't want to see something in the flesh before they commit themselves, but occasionally, and one painting I did, uh, it was still wet, it was wet, and I propped it up on the filing cabinet over there and photographed it, popped it on Facebook, and you know, it was sold within 10 minutes, and I had to say, oh, well, hang on a minute, because yeah. <laughs> I've got to find it, I've got to put some little hooks well, on the back. So there. great, um, and uh, are you finding with Facebook, are you, are you attracting other galleries that way? Or I haven't it? as yet, um, well, I've had, I do get a lot of um, little messages from online galleries. Right. 
But I, you know, I don't really want to go down that route yeah. particularly. Uh, yeah, I, I don't want to spread myself too thinly, really, yeah. because I think then you can't. I suppose it might be the old graphic design person in me, you know, mm. the, with clients. Yeah. That you feel I don't want to let them down if they yeah. say, "Hurry up! I want two more paintings." Yeah. You don't want to be able. You don't want to have to say, "Well, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to wait months. ten weeks or yeah. whatever." Um, so I'd rather keep things sort of um, And are you still doing the graphic side of things <clears throat> or are you only doing well, painting? Well, well, I ha I haven't done a children's book for two years now, right. but I have just done a new idea for one and oh. written the script, the, the text as well. It's, um, oh, okay. That's something yeah. that, that happened really not long after the children were born, who are now 19 and 16. Um, but I found I had a lot more ideas. And, right. and it seems that when you get into children's illustration, after a little while, you've been illustrating and illustrating, um, and then your clients start saying, well, have you got any ideas? Mm. So uh, at which point I would say yes. And then it was a big shock when they said, well, go away and write it then. Right. <laughs> and I thought, well, hang on a minute, I'm not a writer. I, I'm not a writer at all, but they didn't seem to worry about that. They just said, you know, we'll edit, we'll help you edit it. Just right. go away and write the text. Yeah. So that's how I did the whole package in the end, which Brilliant. is a lovely thing to do. Yeah, because absolutely. if you have an idea in your head and then and can then write the whole thing and illustrate the whole thing, then um, it's it's lovely. And you're going to do more, do you think? I'd like to. I'd like to. But it's quite difficult to keep the two brains, not two brains, yeah. but it's, sort of, it's a different... Project sort of, Yeah, it's yeah, a separate. different area. Mm -hmm. uh, cards I do still do. I've got a few clients who I uh, do card designs for. Mm -hmm. And that's a, a nice thing to keep going because you can generally do one in a day. Right. And it's sort of a very contained little thing, you mm -hmm. know. Um, and, and I do like the difference. I like if I could keep all three areas juggling along, mm. that would be nice. And I do I do do some of my own prints and cards as well, and supply little shops locally. And I'm sure if I could, I could make more money by going further afield. But again, it's a sort of logistics. It's another job, isn't it? it Stretching is. yourself. It is. When it you've is. Got, I mean, that's always a problem. Is is the is the barrier between. <clears throat> promotion and actually being an artist. Yeah. And it's yes. very I'm very difficult to get that balance right. And I'm I not imagine. sure that I don't know that people are good at both either. No, um, for no. example, I'm pretty awful at talking about money. It yeah. makes my toes curl. Yeah. Um, I'd rather not have anything to do with it at all, actually, sure. apart from the fact that the car needs insuring and, um, <laughs> and everything else. Um, so, yes, I, I mean, ideally, it, it would be nice to have a be able to possibly employ somebody for a couple of days a week to go out and about and mm. flop stuff, but I don't feel comfortable doing yeah, that at the sure. moment either, yeah. in case I fell on my, on my face. But um, no, uh, my happiest time is painting big canvases, yeah, sure. because there's the freedom. You're not necessarily thinking of the end of the client, you know, of the person. Yeah. It's a more immediate thing. Well, it's for you, isn't it? You're doing it yeah, for you yeah. without a client in mind, and no, the client exactly. will find itself. Exactly, so exactly. I mean, nice you sort of have it. in the back of your mind, well, it would be nice to earn some money from yeah. this one. But it, it's not the same as book illustrating or card designing, where you're, you know, there's a fixed fee and there's a fixed time, you've got a date in your diary, you've got to submit stuff. Um, mm. And it's a very fixed remit as well, yeah, so you're working yes, inside yes. boundaries the well, whole yes, time. even down to size, yeah. you know, 7 by 5 for yeah. a greetings card. Um, mm. you know, there are those sort of restrictions all the time. And much as I love my clients, the ones I have, um, you know, it's nice sometimes not to have any. Definitely. Yeah, sure. So, um, it is right. quite a restricted field. We well, have to tell everyone to buy, 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 buy folks. <laughs> <laughs>